After a long five month quarantine and a lovely summer holiday, we are finally heading back to school. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about how to prepare for the new year and start it without a single hiccup. So I'm not just going to give you some random tips like make yourself a mood board and put some motivational quote on your wall every morning that you found off Pinterest. However, I'm going to find you some great tips that have worked for me and that I've done some research on and have worked for other people. This video will be split up into different parts and here are all the different tips that are going to be mentioned in this video if you want to skip to any particular section or just watch it way they're through. So let's dive into the video. So my first tip is just going to be fix your sleep schedule. I know that 90% of the people watching right now have an absolutely messed up sleep schedule. However, we still have like a week till school starts. So try to go to bed earlier, wake up a bit earlier. This doesn't have to be crazy times. However, just ease back into things and go to bed and wake up as you would normally do. Some things that help me sleep a lot easier is just get rid of my phone put it across the room or if you absolutely have to use your phone turn on a blue light filter so that your eyes aren't affected by it and just keep you awake for longer also just read before bed i really enjoy reading a book however nothing too stimulating as that will make it more difficult for you to fall back asleep however just something relaxing something that puts you in a tired mood Now let's move on to my next tip, which is tidy your workspace. Just do a general declutter of everything, you know, tidy your desk, make sure you have all your pens that you need for revision and for doing homework within arm's reach to make it so much more easier to start revising and just remove that friction and get rid of stuff that will keep you from revising. What I mean by this is just throw your phone away. Do not have it anywhere near you when you're revising. Also have good lighting. I have a nice angle poise lamp on my desk which just stops my eyes from being damaged from bad lighting. Just go through your workspace and see all the stuff that you can basically get rid of. Do the Mary Kondo method and just think to yourself, do I actually need this? Is this gonna help me do work? If not, just put it somewhere else, out of sight, out of mind. Next thing I want to talk about is buy all your products for back to school. Buy your stationery, however, make a list of everything you need beforehand so you don't buy too much because that's what I did last year and I spent a ridiculous amount on stationery which I shouldn't have, which is why this year I'm trying to go more digital and stuff like that. Also, have your school clothes ready as most of us have outgrown our clothes during quarantine. I know I have and I had to go and buy a bunch of new stuff, shoes, jumpers, trousers, so just buy it yourself so you're not walking to school wearing skinny jeans. Also, make sure you have your textbooks bought and preview them ahead of time and even try to answer some questions. A study showed that really helps with later understanding the topic. And last but not least, organize your computer files. Have everything, you know, really neatly put together. Have all your topics in one column, blah, blah, blah. So so much easier to access stuff when you're actually revising later. So this is a kind of important tip, however, just create a good planner. With you having missed so much school this year, you should be planning how you're going to revise and focusing on topics that you actually need help with. So use a good organizational system to manage what you're doing, when you're doing and how you're doing. I'll be going over a video talking about what I'm going to be doing for my GCSEs, how I'm going to be revising, however, figure out what works for you. Bullet journaling, to-do list, Google Calendar, whatever. Figure out what works. So have your syllabus and spec ready. I know that most of us are taking lots of subjects and need to know what we need to cover and what we've already covered. By having the specification and the syllabus, you can just easily browse what you've covered, how you find it, and see if you need to go over it again. So just look for your syllabus ahead of time, see what topics you're going to do in the future and just check your confidence with the topics that you've done in the past. So this tip is kind of obvious, however, just make sure all your summer work and tasks are done. Make sure everything that you've been set by the school has been ticked off and any small pieces of work have been handed in. 
organize your notes organize your revision resources that you made last year and see what you're going to keep for this year that will help and stuff that you might have to throw away this tip may hurt to hear but get back into studying if you've already been revising throughout the summer fantastic this will be super easy for you however if not start doing about half an hour to an hour a day and just work your way up to what you had been doing before start reading ahead a bit make sure to start slow otherwise you might burn out and just build back into your previous study routine So my final tip is organize everything. Make sure you know how you're getting to school. Make sure you know your school's policy on face masks. Make sure you know the bus timetable. Make sure you know what lunch you're taking to school. And also check your school email because I now have a bunch of emails that I checked the other day and I would not have seen if I didn't check my email. So check your email that you're up to date and stuff like that. Message back any things that you need to message back to teachers and just have everything organized so it's as stress-free as possible on the first day. I really hope you enjoyed this video and some of these tips help you prepare for back to school. If you did and you want to learn about a great flashcard app that can help you ace your exams, make sure to check out this video explaining why Anki is so amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and have a productive week.